so over the past couple of weeks I've been thinking about this prompt and kind of what I was was gonna say and I've just been thinking about how I've seen myself as a writer throughout my entire life and just in in the past in middle school and high school I always saw myself more as a reader than a writer um, I was always really good at writing but I was never an expert and never really felt like a super great writer um, and even in college, I, I've been okay at writing, and I don't know, I, I always know what to write about, and I know how to write, but I've definitely been more of a reader than a writer. But um, as I've started with my practicum and student teaching, I think that that writing is really important, and I think that uh, reflects in my, in my teaching. Um, my mentor teacher has this idea that students should be reading and writing every single day, which I really like. Um, she has students read 15 minutes every other day and then write 15 minutes every other day. So at least two times a week students are writing in their writer's notebook at the beginning of class, which I really think is a great idea. So I've been doing that in my student teaching. Um, and I just think that as a teacher of writing, I think students should have the opportunity to, to write a couple times a week, that they should have um, opportunities to gain experience in writing and learn sentence structure and just increase their vocabulary, things like that, that will help them uh, just increase their experience and knowledge in writing that they can use further in their lives as they graduate high school and, and move on. But um, I do definitely have some fears and anxieties about writing because like I said, I've, I never thought of myself as a super great writer, or like an expert writer or anything. Um, but I, I just have this fear that when I go to teach writing, that my inexperience will kind of leak into my students and that they'll kind of reflect my my inexperience with writing. And I really don't want that to happen, but it's definitely a fear I have that because I don't know a ton about writing and grammar and sentence structure and things like that, that my students will see that and then they won't be able to learn from me. I don't know. But yeah, that's one of my fears that I just won't be super great at writing or teaching writing because I was never a fantastic writer. But um, one thing that I do really like about the Writer's Notebook is my students have the opportunity to uh, think about a prompt and answer it personally, how, however they think about it, which I think is really cool. And they have the opportunity to write creatively and just with their own personal twist on things. Uh, when I was doing my practicum, I went in to teach on Halloween, so I, I had a creative writing prompt for that day. Or it just started, uh, it was a dark and stormy night, and then the students had to just write a short story in the first 15 minutes of class. And then after that, we, I had them share with the partner or with the class, whatever they felt more comfortable with. And it was really cool to see how students were really creative with that, where some, were, some wrote really scary stories, but some wrote really funny stories. So it's just really cool with writing that students are able to kind of put a personal twist on their writing, which I think is really great. So I think for sure, for the rest of my student teaching, I'll be implementing writer's notebooks at the beginning of every other class period, so students have the opportunity to gain experience in writing. Um, so my classes at BYU have definitely influenced my, my thinking about how I'm a writer and how to teach writing, especially the grammar class. That was a real struggle for me. I'm not a grammarian. But just learning about some of the grammar principles kind of showed me uh, what I need to practice a little more and what I need to learn about more. And um, Dr. Dean's class about mentor text and just writing and gaining writing experience was really helpful for me. And I think that now I'm student teaching when I become a teacher later, that I'll for sure use mentor text as a way to help students learn to write and, and use expert writing as a way to to improve their writing and to learn how to write. Um, some of my strengths as a teacher of writing is just because I, f I feel so unprepared to teach writing, I prepare a lot. So that's one of my strengths is I just, I just study up a lot before I write my lessons and I, I make sure I know it before I teach it because I don't want to look stupid in front of my students. Um, and also mentor text, I feel like I'm pretty good at finding good mentor text to help my students um, kind of get examples and understand what I'm talking about. 
one of my weaknesses, like I said, I'm a little bit shy about teaching um, writing and grammar. So I definitely need to work on that and just gain a little bit more confidence in, in teaching writing. And then also I'm really, one of my weaknesses I'm really afraid about is differentiation to my students because I know there are students in my class who who really struggle with writing and who have a hard time just creating a full sentence, but then there are students in my class who are better writers than I am. So I, I'm just really afraid that I won't be able to differentiate to those different types of students, so that's one of my weaknesses as well. And then a final anxiety that I have about teaching writing is um, near the end of my student teaching this year, the students will be going in for SAGE testing, and I, I'm really afraid that I won't prepare them well enough to pass the test, but hopefully over the next um, couple weeks and months that I'll be able to get some advice from my mentor teacher and from other people, other teachers and other people around, I'll be able to help my students um, be prepared for the SAGE testing that's going to come up at the end of my student teaching, so we'll see how that goes, but yeah, I'm really excited to be student teaching and hopefully I can be a little bit more confident in my teaching of writing and grammar later.